Hey, I'm Stan. Um, this is going to be a full onboarding demo of the, the platform. So I'm going to show you here how to get started with WDT, how to create a plan, add your goals, invite people. Um, okay, so we're going to start at the first screen that you probably saw after creating your account, and it's about creating a workspace. So the workspace is a place where I'm going to um, you know, work with all my colleagues, add the goals, track goals, etc. So I'm going to call that uh, full onboarding and just allow everyone. So if you click here, this is a simple way for, to let people join your workspace because anyone that has a tablet.io email, um, they'll be able to click on the URL of the workspace and be automatically added to it. And it makes it just easier to share um, access with my colleagues. So now I'm just going to complete this, go to the next step. Sorry. So in the next step, uh, the reason why it's taking some time is because we're actually adding sample data to your platform so that when you get into your workspace, you'll be able to see what Tability can do. Um, okay, so what do I want to get out of Tability? I want to get all of these things. I'm going to move to the next step. Now, setting up your workflow is important. Tability is the name of the, the, the company comes from accountability. And once you add your goals to the platform, it's going to make sure that you keep track of progress by sending you reminders. So first I need to uh, pick how I want to write goals. So by default, we use the terms objectives, outcomes, and initiatives, but you can change those in the platform. And uh, here we offer the possibility to just like uh, use OKRs for instance. So in this case, I'm gonna use OKRs because that's a, a pretty common goal setting framework. Now, this is what I was talking about. So when do you want reminders to be sent to the team? Sorry, I'll talk about it a little bit after, but our recommendation um, is to send reminders on a Monday and then you get weekly progress reports on a Tuesday. So I'm just going to keep this uh, the same way. And don't worry, you can also change that after creating the workspace, you can go back to your settings. Um, this is not, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect here. You can always update that later. Um, okay, so the final thing is to invite people to a platform. So I'm just going to invite Brian because I know that I'll want to assign uh, some goals to Brian. So I'm going to invite him now. Um, and that's it. So now I'm ready to go. I can generate a plan. Um, and so what we do, we have an AI that can help you uh, generate some goals. Uh, and so all you have to do is to put an objective. So for instance, um, what could I say? Like get uh, better SEO, uh, SEO rankings. And then I can hit, just hit this and it's going to create a plan for me. So <clears throat> this is now a little tour of the, the plan editor. Uh, we can see the goals that have been created in the back. Um, okay, so first this is the editor, this is where you're going to create your plan um, and edit the different um, key results and the objectives that you see here. Uh, you can click on the avatars of people to change your owner and you can click on the targets and I'll show you how you can update the targets. But this is really important because instead of tracking things from zero to hundred um, percent, if you know exactly what you want to be tracking, we recommend you to change the target to that. It, it's just going to make the checking check experience much easier. Um, okay, so this is my plan here. I'm actually going to just create an objective from scratch to show you what it looks like. Uh, so here I can just add my new objective and let's say that um, I wanted to, um, okay, so launch a great MVP for a product. So now it's like, okay, so do I have another objective? No, I just want to, I'm, I'm pressing tab here um, to start writing key results. And so one of my key results for this is to be um, get uh, increase uh, NPS from uh, 5 to 35 to 40, for instance. That's going to be one of my key results. Another key result would be um, to get uh, 1,000 weekly active users, for instance, on my beta. All right. So the reason why I added those examples here is because I want to show you how to update the targets. So in here, I want to know, I know that I want to update things from NPS 5 to NPS 40. So I can click um, on the target field 
and then put NPS 40 and I'm starting at NPS 5. And the other one, I can do the same here. So I want to go to 1000 weekly active users. Okay, so now that I have this um, on the platform, so the next thing that I can do is to um, change the owners uh, of the, the different key results here. So I just have, for instance, to uh, click there and I'm going to just assign this to Brian, right? So it's as simple as this. Now I'll go back to the one that was generated. So what I said, I wanted to increase uh, my SEO ranking and the AI just created like a, an, an OKR for me. Sorry. And so one of the good things is that it, it's going to generate like a plan for you. And then you can look at this plan and see uh, what you agree with, what you disagree with. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's just to, about setting you in the right direction. But not only can our AI uh, create goals for you, but it can also generate some tasks for you. So if here I see that I want to increase organic search traffic by 15%, that's good. But what's my plan to achieve that? So I can just press enter, uh, press tab again. And so now I'm in the initiative um, mode. And so I can start writing my initiatives or I can click this button to generate initiatives. Um, I'm going to hit generate uh, and it's going to add like a series of tasks underneath that can help me achieve um, that goal. So if you want to do this manually, uh, I can do the same here. So how do I increase in PS from 5 to 40? Um, make sure. Um, okay, so I'm going to say interview the top uh, 20 active users, um, identify areas of improvement. Okay, so this is how you do it, right? So that is to, of these editors to give you um, a really smooth editing ex um, experience. And uh, you will be able to add reviewers. Uh, you can, before you publish this, you can add comments. Uh, for instance, here I can say, do we think uh, that it's enough? So you'll be able to have um, draft, um, well, basically what we call review comments in the edit mode of your plan. So now say that you've done all of that, you've discussed your plan with your team and you're happy with the content. You can hit save um, to switch now to tracking mode. And so this is the same data as before, except that now it's optimized for goal tracking. Sorry. So what you see here, so we have like the, the um, first OKR about uh, uh, SEO and underneath our OKR about the MVP. So if I click on any of the items, so here the NPSing, you can see that we're starting at NPS 5 and we want to get to NPS 40. On the right hand side, I also have uh, my initiatives and my tasks, uh, my initiatives that I created. So now if I wanted to keep track of progress on that, it's very simple. I just hit create check in. I'm going to see the same graph here. And as I uh, start to type, um, the value. So let's say that we were at, at 28. Um, you're going to see it like being plotted on the graph, which is very convenient to help you understand your confidence, right? So here I would say that I'm, I feel very confident because we're quite close uh, from this line. Um, sorry, feeling good about this. Obviously, you, you would want to write a check in that is much more um, fleshed out than what I'm writing here, but this is for the sake of the demo. Okay, so this is what um, Tability looks like um, in a nutshell at, at, at the beginning. So you have an edit mode, so you create a plan, you have an edit mode for that plan. Once you save it, you're gonna be taken to this view, which is a tracking view for the key results. At the top of this view, you're gonna see um, a, a little, um, well, four indicators. So how many days are left, how, many, how much progress you've done on the key results, um, how much pro progress we've done on the initiatives. And this thing here is a net confidence score. And it's basically taking that confidence information and turning that into a number that you can use to compare teams. Now, if you focused more on the tasks uh, that you see here, if you wanted to discuss those, uh, not discuss, but work on those and see for each one of the objectives, um, what are the teams doing? You can just go to that initiative tab, sorry, you can go to initiative tab and now from here, you're going to have like a roadmap that is organized into 
uh, uh, this week now next letter type of roadmap and this is organized per objective and so from here i can easily say um, we actually want to do this this week uh, we want to do that uh, this week and next week etc so one thing to know um, about this uh, table this board here is that this board is actually automated so because i put this in the next week column the platform um, next Monday will move this automatically for me into this week um, column. And once it's here, it's going to appear in my dashboard in the initiatives that I have to do here. And part of the accountability system as well, I'm going to start getting emails about those tasks to, ma tasks, sorry, to make sure that I complete them. Um, okay, so this is, uh, this is how you know, plan creation works in Tability. Now, as I said before, in the intro, when you create a workspace, it actually adds data for you. So you're going to have a sample plan, which is here. And the idea of this sample plan is to really show you, um, you know, what it looks like when you use stability with multiple people and over several weeks. So this is a small tour. So we've seen that together. You can click on any line to see progress on the goal. Um, you can edit content of your plan like this and present your plan which is a view that I'm going to show you right away. So same thing is going to give you another tour here uh, about the check-ins. So first, you know, this is how you're going to create check-in with that button. You can see the progress graph here and the list of initiatives um, next to it. So now let's look at this into more details, right? So you can see here a team that has been uh, keeping track of progress week after week after week. And what's interesting is like when you see something like this where there's a red dot and you can see that there were comments there, you can just click on that plot dot in the graph to see that conversation in context. Sorry. And um, another thing that is important, the reason why for us, um, it's really critical to show you this, uh, this trends is because once you, you will often have situation that looked like this, where a team has had a hot start and then they start to slow, to slow down. And the fact that I can see this, um, the history of progress, it helps me, it helps everyone basically adjust the confidence. Like we can see that we're getting flat, although um, we're still above a trajectory line, but the, the way um, being able to visually see the trend like helps people like have a correct level of confidence. And uh, that means that then they can start establish uh, working on the plan to get back on track, right? And so same thing is like when you credit checking in Tability, we show you that so that you have the right context in mind wherein you ask to, to indicate your confidence, right? So I would keep the confidence at risk unless uh, things are starting to go back up. Um, okay, so this is a view which is designed for the team to work on, on, um, to work on things. Um, so there's a few, you know, things that you can click on, um, some buttons that are not necessarily interesting if you're presenting that to other people, which is why we have this presentation mode. So if you click here, it actually turns, uh, your plan into something that looks a lot more like a keynote. And, uh, the first view is the overview where you'll be able to like go top to bottom and read the updates. The second thing that you can do is to click on individual key results. Um, to get a, like a focus view on a particular key result. And so you'll see here like a, a general idea of progress at the top, uh, the latest check-in and the, the initiatives that are currently uh, being worked on. Um, and for those of you that are uh, sitting together, together in an office, there's also um, a dashboard view. This is meant to be displayed on the TV um, in a big screen, you know, in the same place where usually engineering has their engineering metrics. Okay. Sorry, so I'll show you um, uh, two more things uh, before ending this video. Um, I'm not going to show you everything about the platform, but one question we often have um, is how, okay, so I have um, multiple teams. How can I structure my workspace with multiple teams? So the idea of Tability is really um, our recommendation is to have one plan per team. So this here, I created a plan for the company. Um, and rather than adding more to this plan, I'm going to create a sub plan uh, for the different teams, right? So I'm going to come back here and then what I can do here, I can click here to create a sub plan and say, uh, for instance, marketing or chaos. Um, and then here I'll say, uh, increase leads. 
and see what the AI says. Um, okay, so this is going to be, let's say that this is my plan for my marketing team. Um, so now what you can see is that it's going to sit under um, uh, un under the, the company OKRs. And so you can keep doing that. I'm just going to add another one. Uh, so let's say product OKRs here. And what we want is like improve uh, user onboarding. Oops, sorry. Okay, and I'm just gonna remove this one. Okay, so, sorry, so now I have like a, a, a two sub plans. Uh, if I go back to my, my um, company OKRs, I have like a marketing OKRs and product OKR plan. Um, okay, so what this is how I would structure the workspace. And the great thing about doing it in sub plans is that if you now go to the strategy map, this is a um, visual, representation of everything that is in progress in the comp um, at the moment. And so you can see here, you can expand the objectives uh, to be able to read the content of the company OKRs, and then you can simply expand the other plans. And this is a simple way for you to be able to see everything at once, instead of having to open up one page and open up another page, right? And if you wanted to uh, see the detail of any of these items, you can just click here to open up that panel and, and get more context. Right, but at a glance, I can look at here and be able to see like, okay, what's red, yellow, green. I can read out the content, make sure that it makes sense compared to this. Like in this case, not really because of my demo, but um, you get the idea that that's how you do it. So now some other things that you can do is like, if you wanted to uh, slice and dice data or create your own uh, personal views, um, you can actually come here to the filters and you'll be able to see the, all the objectives, all the key results, all the initiatives um, across in your workspace. And then you can use filter to, uh, to create your own segments, right? So I can say here, um, I want to see only things that are off track and at risks. And um, if I created some teams, I could use the teams to tag um, like a particular attachment plan to a team and then like say like, oh, show me all the things that are marketing as well. Then what I can do is like I can save um, that view and this is something that I would come back to every morning to make sure that I'm up to date with what might require uh, my attention. So this is it. Um, that's like a um, big tour of Tability, like a big onboarding. Uh, maybe I'll come back to, to just a plan to explain the value really of our tool. So Tability really is about um, helping teams understand, um, you know, what are our goals and not only, you know, set goals and set a good direction at the beginning of the quarter, but how much progress have we made and where do we need, uh, to focus next, right? So the idea of Tability is to help you have this weekly cycle where every week you can, um, plug yourself on that progress chart and have a right meaningful conversation that can help you. Uh, ever, you know, identify things that, that are not doing well and start to, to having a plan to fix those or just celebrate the things that are, that are, um, celebrate the things that are amazing. And, um, yeah, so once you have your plans, like what's really important is to commit to this process of having weekly check-ins. Um, you can see here, there's a thing that says check-ins here every Monday. This means that the platform is going to then take over and, and start sending emails to the different people here and say, Hey, it's time to update your goals. Um, another thing that you can do, you can go here in your workspace settings, go to the integrations section and connect Tability to Slack. Sorry. And once you connect it to Slack, then you're going to get those reminders being sent, um, via DMs in Slack. And, um, yeah, there's other, uh, integrations and more coming up. So don't hesitate to reach out to the team if there's something that you you need, um, that you'd like to get some help with. That's it for me. And um, so my name is Stan. I'm uh, French, as you could hear. So I hope that you managed to get through the session and my accent was not too, uh, too difficult. Um, you probably got my email somewhere in your inbox. So don't hesitate to reach out to me and um, I would be more than happy to take you for a personal session and a personal tour and, and really try to help you get things set up the perfect way for your own business.
Um, that's it for me. Have a great day and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.